What's up everyone, welcome back. Uh, today is May 6th. The day is not starting out very well because uh, the place I was gonna go run is closed. But anyway, so I'm driving, I don't know where, like it's hard for me to figure out where I need to go next. It's like 55 degrees right now, so I don't know like how cold I'm gonna be. Plus, I didn't tell you guys, but my knee, like right here, I like hurt it last night. I think I hyperextended my knee. Um, this is the conclusion I'm coming to myself. I was like filming some stuff for some new shoes I just got, and I was like leaning over my table trying to hit the record button on a camera that was too far away, and I felt my knee just bend a little bit too far in the wrong way, and I thought nothing of it at first, but uh, then over the next couple minutes, as I was trying to like put weight on it and everything, it just like started not feeling good at all. <laughs> So, that's great. But here I've got uh, my Morton gels. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of these because it's gonna be an out and back. So, I need to uh, I need to bring enough like water and gels for, you know, a good couple hours. And the Luco tape is because this pack has repeatedly given me uh, like chafing on my neck, trying to Trying to minimize that today. I am uh, rocking the Speed Goat 5s today. Let's start the Garmin. This is not the day that I was hoping for or planning for, but it's the day I've got. So I'm just gonna take it really easy. Not so much about the rain, like the rain is whatever. Yeah, I took this day off a couple weeks ago knowing that it could possibly rain have bad weather check this out Woo. sometimes it happens in a race where you have bad weather and you just have to deal with it so that's what i'm going to try and do today but the biggest thing i'm bummed out about right now is my knee might end up being fine might end up being horrible So I guess I didn't talk about my goals yet for today. Um, with uh, the potential for a 100 miler coming up in four weeks, uh, I have signed up for a 50. Uh, that also has the option of a 50K two weeks from now. So the trail I'm on right now is a really flat trail, um, but that's okay. Like, I mean, these races that I have signed up for aren't the, uh, they're not the most technical or not much climbing either. Uh, just a couple thousand feet uh, in the 50 miler. And then I think the Mohican has like 12 or 13,000 feet, which is not much. My goal for today was 50K. With the condition of the trails though and my knee, we'll see if that holds up. Also the actual trail I'm on, I'm pretty sure like about a mile or two it's gonna be flooded uh like bad because it just goes by the river um but i chose 
to come here because I haven't been here in a couple years and I after the disappointment that happened this morning and just everything that's been going on in life outside of running I just needed something to be a little excited about so coming someplace new seeing all this new stuff is kind of uh, helping with that uh, but my goal is to just take it super easy not run hard and just kind of take what the day gives me anyway that's the that was the original goal for the day let's do a 50k with like 10,000 feet of vert <laughs> that's not happening also at the end of the day i should be at around 85 miles in the speed goat fives so my plan was to also this weekend film that review it's been a really really tough last couple months and you know, i kind of alluded to it in the last video and you guys were super nice uh everyone was really supportive it's just been a hard time I've been battling depression and some other stuff it's been hard last couple months right now it's like 50 degrees i'm running in a raincoat and next week the forecast it's like mid 80s every day summer's coming it's almost here trying to trying to make it through but yeah let's get running this part of the trail look at this it's like this is like what the next couple miles is it's just a steep drop off into the river so if there's been any bad erosion this winter or anything the trail is just gonna be gone and they have to recut it uh, which there's many spots that you'll be able to see if I'm able to run the whole thing I'm actually really surprised that section was relatively dry. A lot of times that's flooded down there, but not today, so that's good. In the past, I've had to walk through 100 yards of ankle deep water right there, because you can see that's where the creek lets into the river. It's up here ahead. Ah, I'll be crossing a bridge here in just a second over the Wabash River. Alright, this is the Wabash River. This is the river that this trail is named after. Pretty cool, huh? Check this out. These cars are like just stuck here.
They've been there for years. Obviously. It's always like a thing. You have to like take a picture by the cars when you uh, run on this trail. Oh, this is slow going. This is normally sand here. So right now it's wet sand. Awesome. Ah. Look at this. This is it. This is where my time on the trail stops, I think. There's not much ahead anyway. I'm at almost six miles away from the Jeep. So basically what happens is I cross this. I mean, that's probably like two feet deep right there. It's all sand too anyway. You can hear the road, that highway, like, and I'm almost to it. It's actually right there. It's that blue, it's that blue uh, overpass right there. And at that point, it turns into a paved trail. So basically made it on the whole trail. I didn't expect to run much farther than this actually. So I'll get back to the car at like uh, 11 and a half miles or so. And then regroup from there. Here we go. Our way back. jacket I wore for like a mile. It's nice having it, but total waste of space for the for the next 10 miles. <laughs> So I just hit 20 miles, five hours and nine minutes. Like I said, just taking it easy, just chilling. Okay, so I don't know what's going on right now, but my GoPro has 49% battery and it keeps shutting itself off. Okay, I think I have a bad battery. So we'll see if my camera stays on for more than like five seconds. But this right here is Prophet's Rock. This is really cool. It's a cool rock formation. <laughs> Twenty five point one two miles stopping the watch. I put the uh, Enduro battery back in. This one, this blue one. Yeah, that one's messed up. I need to count how many gels I took. I took one every 40 minutes like clockwork. Uh, it was that was great. I mean, my body surprisingly, I feel really good like um, pretty much everything. It's crazy, except my pinky toe on my left foot is getting a blister on the bottom of it. And yeah, that's not cool. So I need to figure out why that happened. These Morton gels, they're awesome. They just, this is what works right now, unfortunately. They're like, they're $4, they're like, they're like $4 each. <laughs> uh, so that means 
like a dollar every 10 minutes of running if I'm taking gels every 40 minutes. That's crazy. But, I mean, that's unsustainable. But right now, where I am in my training and nutrition and everything, it's that's how it is. So yeah, I wish it wasn't, but that's just where I'm at right now. I'm gonna wrap this video up before this battery dies for the final time. Uh, Phoenix 7 did great. Speed Goat 5s, really awesome, except for there's one major, major thing that you have to know if you're planning on doing an ultra in the Speed Goat 5s. And I'll let you know what that is in the review. Yeah, oh, also this uh, Luco tape, I think it worked. I need to figure out, like, when I get home, like, if I have any, um, like chafing around it, but I think I got it in the right places. I took work off today so that I could go run long and I did it. I accomplished it. Ran for six and a half hours in the rain and mud, 25 miles. I feel good about that. Definitely didn't run fast today, but I feel good. So that was the point of today to run long, feel good. I think I'm, oh man. Wow. I think I am going to sign up for the Mohican 100.